SSD is so fucking slow sometimes. So am I back yet, or, or what? Because the dashboard's still loading up, and it's just in the butt. That's good if it resumed the live stream. I didn't want it to lose all the, the views. Well, okay. 16 people, but whatever. You know, it's whatever. And, um, yeah. That was like... It started turning off right when I plugged the power in. Motherfucker. Well, now we're plugged in. And it's a shame, because before it said I had, like, 45 minutes of battery life left. I mean... We all know how that's not really that great, but whatever. Remember, dang, that's some good uh, butterscotch root beer. Everywhere. You know, I probably should let my hands dry off before I actually uh, start touching stuff because then my hands are going to be a magnet for all that shit. Oh, really? Did, uh, DigiPrez77 says, My friend works in the dang factory. That's actually kind of cool. Uh, yeah, Butterscotch Root Beer actually is uh, amazing. Honestly, I even say it might be one of my favorite root beers because it has a little bit of a, a cream sort of flavor to it, but um, it mostly like. Fuck, I, I lost my words. It's good. It's, it's, it's almost better than, than I like Boyland root beer. Are there mosquitoes? Yes, there are a lot of mosquitoes around here. Okay, my hands are dry now. I can touch stuff without it. All of them. Some of these boards, I think, do have a little bit of water damage, so, yeah. Too much. Fucking flies. Get off. Now, this one is corroded so much that it is about to fall apart, so let's see if we can actually do it without breaking it. going. What time is it there? Um, or here? Uh, 1.30 or something like that. Well, 13. 13, 30, but... I don't use 12 hour clocks. They're just too, too annoying. AM, PM, all that junk. I prefer 24 hour clocks.
by the way, I've already removed this many nails, so. Mm -hmm. This many nails. That's a good amount, especially square nails. Got a roundy over here. Not liking it. Very corroded though. Not though. I think my friend has a planer, so or um whatever it's called. Or um I can Feed it through that and get at a nice plain surface. Probably the best idea. These are cut nails, it looks like. No. Yeah, it looks like they're actually cut out of um, like a sheet of metal. Press something like that. How many boards did I get? I got. Well, in total, I got, oh, fuck, I got four, um, I got four trailer loads of it. And I got a good amount of, of lumber. Do I ever get a time of 13.37? Yeah? Tell us about the time he almost died. Not sure what time you're talking about. By the way, I'm thinking about, um, I might want to make a, um, an underground greenhouse and use soda bottles, and melt them down, actually be like skylights, that'd be kind of cool. And another option is, like, before that, I want to make a bottle organ, so it has like the, that, that sound, and, uh, fill with liquid, maybe wax, so it actually stays, and then you actually have, like, a, all the notes, and you have computer control, it'd be kind of cool. Need to get some moderators. Well, I'm just by myself, so whatever. Kind of need to get like an editor and all that kind of stuff, but can't afford that. Must be kind of, kind of too businessy. Like, I would never. I like. Don't get me wrong. Shannon from Hack 5 is a great friend. She's really wonderful. But I don't really care for their um, their setup for their studio. It's too uh, corporate-y. I, th I think if I had a setup like that where if my channel grew, grew too big and like I tried to have employees or something like that, it just, that would not work out very well for me at least.
No, this is this is a root beer. It's not not alcoholic. It's a soda. People keep think. I think a lot of people don't realize that root beer actually is soda. It's um like sarsaparilla or whatever. I can't remember. Honestly, likes don't really matter that much. I mean, I've had videos with lots of likes, and likes don't really make you happy or sad. It's just... So, I don't really see much of a reason to push for likes. No offense, I know you guys are trying to be nice and give me likes, but like, eh. it doesn't really affect me, you know. That's um, a very good one. Yeah, that's... I doubt I'm going to get this one out. Oh! oh. Let's see. Yes. Oh! board has some serious weathering. Look at that. That's like something playing like an old ship or something like that. No, this bottom part's just not going to work for me. It's going to rip it off because it's almost all falling off anyway, so no sense in keeping it on. Very heavily messed up. Oh my god, people keep fucking asking about the three roller project. Three roller project has been on hold for four years. Get the fuck over it. I don't feel like doing the three roller project. I, if anything, feel like doing my motorcycle project. My neighbor's over there, though. If you guys keep saying there's someone over there, there's my neighbor over there. But, he's a nice guy. That dirt is in there pretty hard.
Maybe I should increase like the font size because it's very difficult to read from this far away. So let's try putting these ones together to have this like groove in the bottom. right there. Right. You now getting these ancient boards to mesh up might be quicker than I thought. Okay, not too bad. Is the nail. Oh, and no, I I um I don't listen. I, I don't like listening to music very much. And if I do, that is the entire. It is its own form of entertainment. But I absolutely hate listening to music and trying to do something at the same time. Oh, and regarding uh, arcade machines, I have like six or seven arcade machines. They're in storage, though, and I hope to have them in, this for in the workshop when I get it done. I have Race Driving from 1989. Or 1990, sorry. Hard Driving was 1989. And I have Super Mario Brothers. Then I have Mappy, Missile Command, Moon Base. And I have, I have a pile of pinball machine parts, too. But no empty bomb, bomb shell casing. Yeah, so I'm thinking this probably could be good enough. Like, I could probably, like, put a something between them. And to be honest, probably what I'll do is I'll probably actually have, like, a, just a rug over them. But it'd be a nice, nice floor. So, oh, the, the Super Mario Brothers arcade cabinet is actually in my living room. But the race driving and other cabinets are in the storage unit, currently getting all moldy. Because the storage units are like 100% humidity all the time. Same with my player piano. My player piano just has mold all over it. That's why, that's why I'm building this. Because we're paying like a couple hundred dollars a month for the fucking storage units. When they're just slowly destroying the things I store in them.
Have I mentioned how much I hate round nails? They just suck so much. Square nails are so much easier to take out. I think one factor because the uh, square nails taper throughout their entire length. However, these ones are a uniform length until the tip. Not that bad. But it does not have the groove, so... How about that? We store the groove separate so we store it by tight. Actually, all these bathrooms don't have groove. So those might actually be the original flooring. I don't know. Might be more like, or the, the ones with the groove might be more like 1930s. So eventually, the, um, the arcade machines are actually going to be at the Red Rooster Inn, I believe, if they have room. They'll kind of get me get them out of my get out out of my uh, space, unless I want to keep them in my workshop. I don't know, but I should have plenty of room to have that filled up and still have a good amount of room just for projects and whatnot. Really bad boards. It might be firewood there. Pretty nice. Not that bad. <sighs> yeah, this. Um, I didn't get a whole lot of sleep last night, so, oh well. So how I'm streaming this, it's my uh, IBM ThinkPad X260 on Wi-Fi, basically. Sleep is a challenging hobby, I like that. I'd say over the past, like, I don't know, 10 minutes or so, kind of lost interest in this live stream. Well, lost interest in doing this. I think almost uh, two, two loads of this stuff is a bit enough for one session, you know.
Problem solved. I hate round nails. I hate them. Right in the kneecap. So here's something interesting I picked up. So this is actually siding. They're really thin. For a wall or something like that. I actually picked up a good number of that actually. Get more. Here we go. Chris, um, if you, Chris Brinzo, if I had a real beer, I'd be throwing up because I hate the flavor. Hole in it, so that's kind of not very helpful. And mold. some more.
Glory to the chair. Yes. Thank God my neighbor has a bad hearing. Chairs are more popular than me. Actually, then again, the chair, it's not that difficult. This channel is kind of a failure. It's kind of funny. My second channel, where it's just videos of me talking, is far more popular than this channel. And this is one that takes like 10 hours of work for every 10 minutes of footage. This is the chair. You're so interested in it. I love this chair. It's in that barn that I helped tear down back in uh, 2017 or whatever. So yeah, I was going to go in the dump. You know, I will say, though, I actually am kind of glad that this channel isn't very popular because, honestly, I've really flown under the radar of almost every big problem of YouTube, like all the demonetization and stuff like that. I don't have to deal with any of that. So, maybe not being popular actually has its uh, benefits. And then somehow I still make enough money to, to get views, but sadly it's all in my older videos, so, like... People will subscribe to me and like their first impression is of me like six years ago and it's like I've changed a lot since then and it just gets so annoying. It's one reason why I can never actually remove my old videos because it's like my old videos are what pays the bills even though they're cringy and horribly made. About every couple weeks I have someone that well, people don't tend to look how old a video is. And they'll comment like, oh, you should have done this bit, this differently, or or you should uh, make a part two. It's like, I've already made a part, part 12. You should just Google it. But I still get notifications for the old comments. I really wish you could like actually change it to where you don't get notifications for videos older than like a couple years, you know. Dust is everywhere. You know, I should probably get like a mouse and then I can actually see it. Regarding uh, every Nish, uh, Nishimura. It's seriously nice to see someone in the DIY scene that's, who's trans. It's really, really refreshing. Well, also trans are not like a freak. No offense, but a lot of trans people are kind of freaks. Not saying I'm not, but like some of them, whoa, they are, wow. Huh. That's a weird one. But I think a lot, of the, a lot of the problem is, like, you still have to know how to, like, dress nice, but some people just, they do not know how to, like, like, my goal isn't to be whatever gender, my goal is just to look nice. And people are just, like, cringy. Really cringy.
Hectronic V said your channel will become big. Uh, no, actually, my second channel is growing a lot faster than this channel. Like, I got 10,000 subscribers on my second channel, Renoa Leonhardt, in like a week and a half. And this channel, subscribers are actually going down. And every, every time I upload a video, I lose like 80 subscribers. I lose 80 subscribers. Well, to be honest, about gender transition, like, all it is is style. People just don't know how to, like, like, people dress like, like they're not really not looking nice as, if that makes sense. I don't know. I can talk about that on my second channel. But man, like, my doctor's in, uh, San Francisco. Great doctor, wonderful, but area like you walk around and it's like whoa you can definitely see trans people and then culturally you're not allowed to say like maybe you should uh, dress differently or something like that you can, like that's insensitive or whatever because you know what here's my theory i think some people don't want to be the other gender they want to be trans they don't want to actually transition they want to just, like, forever be stuck in that weird intergender thing. I don't know. And it's just weird. Like, pick a side. Or just be androgynous. I don't know. But at least be stylish, however you are. At the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. Like, yeah, it doesn't. it's not that big of a deal. People, like, I can't believe how many transgender YouTubers there are that all they talk about is their fucking gender transition. It's so repetitive and annoying. There's not that much to talk about. Oh well. Mew, you are definitely right. A lot of trainer people do not work on their voice, and it is a pain in the butt. Like, I have a lot to go for my voice, but I'm not, I, my goal for my voice is just not to sound annoying. Whenever I'm editing my videos, I, well, it's, it's never really changed. I've always been annoyed with my voice. But, like, if I was going to have somebody narrate a, a video, I definitely would not pick myself, because it's just so annoying to have to listen to myself. But that could be one of those things, like, just, like, everyone thinks their own voice is annoying. Oof. Chris Brinzo, skip this topic. Go fuck yourself. Please kick. Um, didn't know I didn't know I had a second channel. I have actually five channels. Fifth one's kind of a secret though. The old amazing atheist situation. I haven't really paid attention to the amazing atheist in a long time. Probably haven't watched his videos in years. Oh man, this junk on my hands is really messing up my trackpad. Steve 64464 said, I guess if you were calling in, in fear of their appearance, it's not fear, it's just like cringe, it's like disgust, like 
you know that feeling whenever you see like a really old lady that just has like a bunch of perfume and clothes that are like way too young for her? It's kind of like, ooh, oh, that does not look good. There's a lot of ways to look great. There's a lot of ways to look great without having to be um, revealing or whatever. Because looking classy is the right way, not looking like... Oh, I can't remember the word. Lachivus? Whatever. Not wearing frippery, or whatever the term is. I'm catching up on the comments, sorry. Sebastian Monet said, do you know about all the other big old tech channels? Did something happen to them? I'm not really sure. Avery Nishimura said, also sorry about my complicated last name. Not sure if it's complicated. I, just, I was trying to figure out the uh, ethnicity or the uh, li linguistic origin, the etymology of the name, which if it is a Japanese name, it would be Nishimura. Oh, but um, I can't. I, I'm focusing on the nailing or denailing, I guess. So I'm not really paying attention too much. But um, like for instance, my goal never was to be trans. I don't want to be seen as someone who is trans. And whenever like people use female pronouns with me all the time, and they don't even comment. And some some people are actually surprised when I say I'm trans. And it's like nice. I don't look trans. Trans is actually kind of um, like. I think it's kind of a, kind of like an insult or not right insult. It's kind of like a problem, like like oh, you look trans. You sh you don't want to look trans. You want to look like the gender you're trying to be. Or not really trying to be, but I don't know. It's English, English, weird. Two nails right next to each other. Doing it two at the same time. Same time. The the uh, steampunk electric bicycle seems to be working pretty well. Just hit a thousand miles on it, so that's pretty good. Well, actually, no, it's about fifteen hundred because I reset it for the solar powered part, but oh well.
Steve64464 said, why do people have to categorize people into predefined things? They're just you. Well, I wish it could be that way, but the far left, and also the far right, but it seems like really the far left, and the intersectionalists, and the Marxists, and all of them, neo-Marxists, and as Jordan Peterson would say, the postmodernists, they seem to really love putting people into boxes. And that's why we get the uh, the LGBTQ whatever um, thing where they, they want to put everyone into a little box and they want to like say everyone's like oppressed somehow or whatever, unless they're white. Three cheers. Why do you have more than one channel? Because if I upload too wide of a topic, people start complaining and unsubscribing. Unsubscribing. Because inherently, YouTube communities are very hyper-focused and actually kind of suck. That's not going to work. Every Nishimura. Also, Renault, do you think you have ever going to open up a P.O. box? I have a P.O. box. Check my about page. I have an entire series just about receiving items called Inbox. Yeah, the timber is not that great. It's oh, sorry. The um, the poles. Nah, eh, they're they're okay. I'll, I'll pull. I'll trim them up a little bit. Yep, PO Box 250. Think about starting a Discord? No, I'm not thinking about starting a Discord. Me and my friends on Final Fantasy have a Discord that we should post, but honestly, I'm actually, like, I need to step away from the YouTube community. Although I have been banning people a lot more. I've been banning people who just, like, I used to only have, like, two or three people actually banned. Mosquitoes, fucking mosquitoes. But then, like, I, I look through it, and I notice that, because you can actually search every comment someone, this a certain channel has ever put on your videos, and, like, I'll look through it, and I'll find that they just go through every single video and never have said a nice thing, or helpful thing. And so it's like, you know what, I'll clean up, because it is my social media, and I don't have to deal with it. So I started banning a lot of people that are, like, really obviously, like, calling me a, a, an idiot, or, well, saying a lot of other things, like... Yeah, so I've been called almost every every name in the book, but I started started banning them, and the community's actually been doing a lot better. Like it's been a lot a lot easier to to read stuff because people aren't just so constantly negative. I agree with um, uh, Dequinox, the having to categorize things. Like, who said that discrimination is bad? Like, you have to discriminate in order to know what discrimination is bad. I mean, like, let's be honest here. This tool or, or the other tool? I already showed it before. Someone asked to see it. Cheap Eve. You currently plan on any collab with some other channel? Well, I made quick friends with Shannon from Hack5, so I'm probably going to be back on that pretty regularly. Whenever I'm in California. But, I don't really have that many collaborations to do.
Steve six four four six four. I want I watch this Tommy Sotomayor. Oh, isn't that the guy that was on the, like the Drunken Peasants? I used to watch the Drunken Peasants. It was okay, but it kind of got derailed really bad. But I, I seem to remember that Tommy Sotomayor guy was a real weird person. Didn't that podcast, like the, didn't the Drunken Peasants, uh, end? I thought it did. Me and the post-apocalyptic inventor talk a lot about that, and, uh, well, at least, at least we did back when we both watched it. Post-apocalyptic inventor is pretty darn cool. He's a great guy. Now that actually might be a collaboration I might do someday if I meet Germ if I uh, if I meet him when I visit Germany because I'd like to visit Europe again then that'd be really cool to to help him with his projects but a lot of his projects are really technical like he's smarter than me in many ways huh flat nails or cleats that's weird. I'm not sure how to categorize all this shit. Broken nails. Round nails. Kind of tempted just to, you know, go inside and Play Final Fantasy XIV. I kind of just feel like that right now. Or I get the... Oh. Well, there's the nail. Yeah, I'm not thinking a planer would be really, a really good idea. Or whatever the term is. Because um, I think there's too much junk in this wood. Oh, what's a heavy one? Holy shit. So, um, Steve64464, uh, to, you guys have been a distraction for me too, because I probably would have had all this done by now, but, I don't know. Why do they do live streams? Say stuff that'll, like, I, I'm really glad that I'm, that I don't have people, like, out to get me and, like, you know, because, like, Whenever the news media decides to, like, really attack someone like PewDiePie or Elon Musk, they just dig up everything. Played Final Fantasy 7 or any of those games in a long time. I'm a big fan of Final Fantasy 14, though. I've actually probably spent about, um, well, I estimated I spent about nine months of real time in the in the original version of the game, and I've probably spent about something similar in the new version of the game since 2013. So I've probably spent like one and one and a half years, or more closer to two years, in the game in in Eorzea. So let's see. That's one eighth. That's like that's a percentage of my life that I have spent in that game, which is uh, it affects you, which I think it affects me to the better because it's a great game. 
I would even go as far to say it's more than a game. It's like a, it's it's, its own world. Now that is a very corroded nail. Have I played Morrowind? No, is that is that an Elder Scrolls game? I don't play too many games actually. I just kind of play the same games over and over. I really like 1990s and early 2000s console platformers. There's just something about them, like Ty the Tasmanian Tiger, and uh, well, a lot of the Disney games, like for instance, or the Pixar games. I mean, the A Bug's Life for the PlayStation One was great. Of course, Spyro and stuff like that. Spyro is great, but also uh, like the to Toy Story games. Points. Um, I've heard of it. Is that a channel? Long one. You remember, oh, it was Rusty Ward's channel. Like, Rusty Ward. He had this, um, his, this channel that's been dead for a couple of years. Like, Science Friction, I think it was. I'm not really sure what it was. But it was, it was a great channel, and then he just hasn't uploaded it. I'm not sure what happened to him. Oh, that's right. I was thinking, I was mixing up ContraPoints as, um, like one of those, uh, like the infographic show or whatever. Sounds like a show like that. I don't know. I don't really pay attention to, uh, people who identify as trans. I pay attention to people who happen to be trans. Like, for instance, I don't see myself as trans. I just see myself as someone who has transitioned. It's not a part of my identity. I don't start conversations like that. That's when you have problems. When, when someone starts a conversation with that, then you know, like, oh, you're in a lot of crazy there. How many nails have I pulled? Um, too many. You can see that. How many? Bad.
Got it. To reply um, because channel.com. That's a good one. I like that one. That's really nice. Nice piece of wood there, I like. Getting near the end of this. Vinder is playing. Only Renoa Super Genius can get 69 views on a stream removing nails. I love it. I love it too. Like 69 views? That ain't too bad. And we are doing okay on Battery Life, which is nice because Battery Life. No, no, not carpal tunnel. It's um, uh, drying off my hands because I have a bucket of water over here. I keep washing my hands. And of course, like I, I can't resume denailing with wet hands because then just like attracts all the junk onto my hands. Mention a second channel, um, High Cliff Hound. If you look up the, the video series, Personal Bits, it's a, a parody of my random bits, but Personal Bits is a series that I've been making. Well, it, it just documents like my daily thoughts, but it also happens to document my gender transition just because I started it, I believe, the day I started my medication back in like 2015. So you kind of see how my thought process evolves and how I just grow up in general. So, but yeah, that's on my second channel, and it's mostly just a video, it's just really just a channel where I upload my thoughts and non-technical things, to some extent, or also behind-the-scenes things. Because, um, I used to have a video series on this channel called Behind the Bits, and basically Behind the Bits became redundant, and I just started saying the things that I would say in that series in my Personal Bits videos. So in my Personal Bits videos, I just kind of talk about whatever I'm doing, and usually that happens to be behind-the-scenes stuff for this channel. Ah. 
nasce. My mom, her channel is Sony Heels for the win. I do not think the uh, stream will be affected. I'm currently only uploading at like I think 1,200 kilobits per second, so you can you can play your game, mom. Joseph John, what would you prefer, girlfriend or boyfriend? Well, seeing as I've only ever had guys interested in me, straight guys, mind you, straight guys, um, not interested in gay guys. I guess I'm kind of like, well, honestly, I'm kind of into neither. But if for some reason I was able to bring myself to trust someone, it really depends on the personality. Because I'm not interested in sex, so it really doesn't matter too much about them. They just have to be an upstanding person, if that's the right term. But I think the personality that I tend to like tends to be men. Because I think their personalities tend to be better. A lot of women I know are just... It's a difference. Like, when I'm friends with... Well... Girls make great friends. And men are like kind of mysterious and... They're like a random number generator. They kind of like, kind of change things. You don't really expect to, or you don't really know what they're going to do. So they're kind of adventurous. If that makes sense. What little known channels do you enjoy and help to see you grow in the future? Well, there's this one person who runs the channel 16mm Adventures, and he doesn't have very many subscribers, but he has another channel where he talks about cooking, like the 1700s or 1600s or whatever, and I think that's like, um, oh, I can't remember the name, but it's like a uh, homestead or whatever. Just look up cooking receipts. I love uh, watching cooking videos. Look up videos of like how to cook stuff from the 1600s or whatever, and his video, his videos will pop up. It's it's they're great. Then uh, also, I think they changed their name, but it was a uh, Hu Television, or um, it's it's a Swiss channel, but because Hu is, if I'm saying it right, it's the it's the Swiss word for kitchen cupboard, and um, there's a a Swiss cooking channel, and I really like listening to them too because Swiss German is Wonderful German. Station 240. <laughs> Seems to be attracted to dumpsters. Not, not looking to have a long-term rela relationship with dumpsters. <laughs> Steve 64464, you do realize that Sony Heels for the win is my mom, right? Like, comment right below you. Please kick. Well, gay guys aren't interested in me because they're interested in guys. That's, like, if my transition was a failure, then I would have gay guys interested in me. But because I've, I don't. I, and I only have straight guys interested in me. That's um, that's a, it's a, I like that. I like that. It, 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 it's, it's good feedback. It means that maybe my transition hasn't been going too bad. Oh, and you also say like you have opposite view of boys and girls. Well, that's that's kind of the thing. Like 
I think that the people that are kind of like your same gender, you mostly just find as friends, and then the other one you just find surprising and interesting and adventurous, and like they just they seem like an almost like a different species almost. And you can't really like predict what they're going to say. Like for instance, when I have a conversation with Shannon Morris from Hack Five, like I, I usually know almost exactly what she's going to say. I have a general idea, but then if I talk to one of my like my coworkers, my old coworkers from Apple, who are like German guys. Sometimes they would just like surprise me with like really something really funny or whatever, and I it's they're running like almost a different operating system, a different mode or something like that, and so that uh, it makes it more interesting in in different ways. One is more relatable, and the other one is just more interesting and and fun to be around, if that makes sense, socially at least. And so I think. Yeah, I fucked that up. I've actually talked to gay guys about that before, and it's actually the it actually does seem to be a good way to determine if you're like what you're into because I know a lot of gay people say that they're actually they find that women are people to be friends with, and men are the more adventurous and like surprising ones. So. For gay people, it's the opposite. It's it's similar to how it is for females, I guess. Well, well, I mean, like, non-gay females. Growing up this nail. Some of these nails probably are not going to get reused. And some of these boards maybe not either, because that one's just way too... Like, that one is just way too curved. And gnats in my eyes. My eyes. And now lots of 125-year-old floor gunk in my eyes. But whatever. How did the, did the audio stay on when I was talking? Cyber Fox. I like that um, iDubs reference. I really like iDubs. He's a pretty he's a pretty cool YouTuber. I got a couple more boards to go. Real shame, because the, the battery is down to 18%. If only it could charge faster, then I could actually film more, but... Cause... Because I would like to take the, the laptop around to the front, or the, the garden hose, and take some of the boards around and actually wash them off, but... I might get water on my laptop and the battery will probably die and just not that fun. That's a good one. That's a really good one. I like that. Find more like that one and we're in business.
Cyber Fox it reminds me of whenever, uh, have you seen that meme of PewDiePie where he's all like, and the caption is like, when Senpai doesn't notice you. Motherfucker. God damn it. Oh, motherfucker. God damn it. It's not too nice. I wish there was more clouds. Too much sunlight, for my opinion. Or for, my, for my taste. There we go. More round nails. Oh my god. Getting loads of splinters. Loads of money. Not many people know that song, actually. It's, uh, the song, name of the song is just Loads of Money. It's a good one. Oh, neighbors are probably burning some tires, something like that. That acrid rubber burning smell. Oh, here's a channel that you guys should check out. Rare Earth. It is the, um, it is of the son of, uh, Mr. Hadfield, that astronaut. But he, it's, it's amazing. You need to check out Rare Earth. Adam Wing, do you have to get a permit for the shop? No, I did not. If I was going to feed that way, I would have. But Taylor Springs does not need a permit. Backwoods Bungalow. How long will it take to build the shop? I don't know. Maybe a couple more months. But I already have the 2x12s to grow on the top. And I'm kind of taking it slow just to make sure I have the, the design figured out. And if we're lucky and get some nice weather, like some cooler weather and maybe some not so much harsh sunlight, some overcast, then I could probably do quite a bit, actually. Just six fuses. Andrew, uh, Andrew Ballet, Ballet, sorry. Can you get the drunk neighbors drunk again and secretly record? Well, I don't think it was just alcohol. I think there was, a uh, some more stuff going on. And, oh, there's another neighbor over there. Burning over there, burning over there. Might have to go inside before it gets all acrid smelling. But, um... There was another big yelling contest of the other neighbors, and... This time, I was going to film it, but I was like, eh, I'm not, I'm not going to push my luck this time, because it's the neighbors I do have to talk to every so often. 
So I didn't film that one. But it wasn't as interesting. You couldn't, like, see people fighting. That one time my neighbors were fighting, that was hilarious. And I quickly shared the video to, like, my other neighbors. And, yeah. Use 64464. Will the shop have a solar system? Yes, it will definitely have solar panels. Probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to start over with the solar panels. The solar panels that I have, I'm going to I'm wanting to make a clothesline. The clothesline will have poles, and on each pole will be some solar panels. And I'm going to do some other projects. So the solar panels that I have will go towards random projects, and then whenever I want to build a workshop solar panel system, I'll just buy new and that way I won't, have, I won't have to fit all these other weird, odd parts together. Because every time I bought solar panels, they're all like a whatever brand was cheapest at the time. The different sizes, different ratings, everything. Nice one. I like that. That's not a tiny groove. That's something. Oh, that's actually kind of cool looking. I don't know if I can get this off. This, uh, do an inspection check, a roll check. Look at that. That's, um, Hey, where am I going with this? Is that okay? That is like a mushroom of rust. The round nail, too. Weird. Actually, you know what? That might have been it. It wasn't in there very far. Weird. But this board will just be for whatever I want to experiment with. Oh, that's just more siding. But not a full floorboard, it's just a siding thing. Probably for like the walls or whatever. Is that a... Oh, it's just sunlight. I thought that was like a, a spider web. You see that, guys? Yeah, weird. Oh, yeah, you guys are commenting about it, too. I don't... I think it is. I think it's just the light from the sun. There's a lot of sand and junk in my webcam somehow, so. Just a nice? Yes, solar panel will be my only power, hopefully. Adam Wing, I did not sell a city car yet. No, I will not I will not make a seventy K plaque. That would be seventy five K, I believe.
and your ballot. I've already done that before. But um, the ones that tend to break are the round nails, which are smaller and weaker. Spiders aren't that nice, but we have a lot of wolf spiders, and they, they tend to avoid you. They're, they're smarter. They're actually quite, quite intelligent creatures. Backward Bungalow. Yes, I've seen David Garcia's channel, and me and him, well, he, he kind of insulted me once, so I like I don't really like him that much. Plus, he's kind of a, an idiot car guy. He's not really a technical person. So, yeah, I, I'm not really a huge fan of David Garcia. But then also, on like, like, not only did we kind of have like a little uh, disagreement, and he was a little rude about it. I I might have been a little rude too, but um, I just really something about his channel. I just I really hate his presentation style, and his filming style. Short. My Playhouse, um, or Morton Hart, sorry. The, uh, so far, probably about $700, $700, like that, not too bad. Let's talk about some YouTubers I don't like. I'm trying to think of them. That uh, King of Random guy. Hate him. Hate his guts. Um, I don't know how I feel about Cody's Lab. Because, um, well... Uh, words on the bottom of that, but you can't really read it. It's weird. RC or PC. PC. So, uh, Cody's Lab and I, um, I see a lot of the things that I hate about myself reflected even more in his videos. And, uh, I don't know. I just like, I think his editing style, what I think for me, my interest is making videos and filming. And so I have to find a subject to film to, to find what to film. For him, I think it's the opposite, where he has a subject and he just and filming is a is secondary. Although I do like his mining series, that was great. But I think that uh, we're in different directions. We get compared to each other a lot, so that's a bit. I don't know if it's annoying or not. Sometimes it's like, eh, it's kind of cool. Kind of like I get compared to Idubs all the time. But one reason I don't like watching. Cody's lab is because so, so many times we happen to sync up on things and like he'll make a video about some steam power and I'll make a video about some steam power like on the same day 
And then people are like saying, oh, you ripped off Cody Zeb. I was like, I don't watch his videos. That was happenstance. And it's, it's really annoying because like, kind of like my doppelganger. Or I'm like, I don't know. It's like, well, at least the channel subject. So, um, yeah. I think his presentation style isn't the greatest. And I don't get the love for refining metals. Like, if I needed gold for a project, maybe I would be interested in it. But I don't inherently see a va value in just having a lump of gold laying around. If that makes sense. Whereas he seems to be very much into, like, refining gold from things. Unless it's just to get views. I can totally understand that then. But then that just puts the problem off. Like, like well, why is everyone else so interested in that? Now, if we could actually use, like, gold as currency, then I'd be very interested. But you try spending, like, a pinch of gold anywhere, and they're not going to take you, or you're going to get a really bad deal. Wrangler Star... Uh, ra ra Range Star, Wrangler Star, whatever his name is. Um, clickbait bullshit? I don't know. Jorg Sprava, or Spray Sprava, I think it's, yeah, Jorg Sprava. He has a great channel, a slingshot guy. I like his videos. I like Jorg Sprava. I think it's, is that his name? Jorg Sprave? Fuck, I can't remember. I don't watch too much of, too much of his stuff, though. I get so annoyed by how many times people are like, oh, you stole that furnace idea from from King of Random. It's like, this furnace idea has been around since the 1800s. Are you fucking stupid? Oh, my God. I like Casey Neistat, but I hate the, K the Casey clones. I hate when people copy Casey Neistat's style. And like that, uh, oh, was it like head bop or whatever the term is for the, the, the music? And Casey Neistat integrates... His mistakes into his style, like for instance when he drops his camera or something like that, or setting up a shot. But that doesn't mean you should, and that doesn't even even mean that he should. It's just kind of fluff. It's um, footage that I think should be removed. Just like, just like I disagree with having the intro. Like um, I remember one time when me and Shannon were, were filming a video for the Hack Five show. There was a real big of a confusion b between her and I because they have a cold open and then an intro, like a, a, a theme. And it's like, this is the internet. You don't have a cold open and a theme. Like, how many viewers do you have just click away during that, like, cold... Uh, I don't know. And so it's things like that that I think a lot of people don't optimize for YouTube very much. That makes sense. I like the back, like, Backyard Scientist. Actually, he's my biggest subscriber. He um, he subscribed to my channel, The Backyard Scientist, I think. Electro Boom. I think Electro Boom's pretty good. That's the... Um, this is the Canadian guy, right? And of course, Arduino vs. Evil, but... I hit a thousand subscribers before Arduino vs. Evil, god damn it. He subscribed to me when he only had 113 subscribers and I had like 500. He subscribed to me first, okay? One time, I was at a meeting at Apple. And it was like this big meeting. It was some not some dumb or whatever. And this a stranger, like some intern or whatever, noticed I had my, my Arduino vs. Evil shirt on. Well, one of them. And, and 
So when we were getting getting out of the meeting, he started talking to me like, oh my god, I love Arduino Universe's Evil. It's weird. A lot of people at Apple know Arduino Universe's Evil. Not many people knew me. And um, so it was this entire thing of like, like he, he kept fanboying over Arduino Universe's Evil. And I was like, I have a YouTube channel too, you know. I have to be friends with him. And he's just totally disregarding it. And I just kind of had to walk away because he kept talking about how great Arduino Universe's Evil was. And it's like, oh my god. Just, you're, my, you're fucking with me right here. I don't know. Benjamin Nelson. I like Benjamin Nelson. He's pretty nice. He has a nice accent, too. Simone Geertz? I think she's she's nice. I like her. But I, 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 I fail to see the practicality in her inventions. I've never heard of this old Tony. I guess I'll check that out. I love PewDiePie. Me and my mom love PewDiePie. I think my mom will comment saying how much we both like PewDiePie. PewDiePie is smart. He's nice. Nice guy PewDiePie. What can you not enjoy? And I'm not nine years old, so I'm not part of his nine-year-old army. People that are older than nine year, years old can still love PewDiePie. And I also like Marcia. Marcia Bizognan or Bognan or whatever. I'm not sure what her name is. Marcia is really good too. The problem with our universe is evil is he owes me some shout outs for years now and he hasn't given it to me because I sent him a coal ball. So ever since I made that video back in like 2013 of the coal ball, he has just been sending me emails and private messages and everything like, how's the coal ball doing? Could you, have you cut it open yet or could you send it to me? And it's like after, after a couple of years of him just bugging me about it, I was like, fine, I'll send you the goddamn coal ball and you got to give me like two shout outs. And he hasn't done anything with the cold ball yet. And doesn't give me shout outs. So. Mm. Although, honestly, kind of happy because, like, he's getting bigger and bigger. Like, at the time, if you would have given me a shout out, he was like 400,000 subscribers. And now he's like, what? I'm closer to a million? So, the longer I wait, the bigger the shout out will be. So, it's like, eh, I'm fine with that. Hanto Restorations is okay. Said, what things put you off when finding a new channel? I really hate when someone has too much fry in their voice. Like whenever, like especially men, when they just a hey, dog like a croaking frog, they just sound like a croaking frog, and it's like I can't hear any vocals in your voice. I can barely even understand you. But some people just have so much crackle in their voice, usually because they're just lazy, and it's a real, it's a real, real turn off for me. So sometimes I'll just, I'll just leave just because of that. Big Clive is fine, but he mostly just. There's a lot of light bulbs. There's a lot of light bulbs. Andrew Balliet. Um, well, actually, I, I, I created the 18650 guide specifically for his zine for our Arduino versus Evil. Do I watch Maker Vids? No. Turn the frickin' frog skate. <laughs> you do have to like Alex Jones, because he's such an idiot. I love him. AF asks, what religion am I? Do I follow religion? Well, I really like Shinto. But, that's the only reason I would believe in something like that is just to calm my mind whenever I'm, like, worrying about things. But overall, I'm, I'm an atheist, I would say. Yeah, I'd say I'm an atheist, but sometimes it's... 
when you're wasting too much time thinking about like the possibility of like if there is a higher power or something if you just you just want to feel like there's that the world's a little different sometimes i'll entertain i'll pretend like a religion's real Without Kill 2007 is a great channel. Uh, was it 805 Road King? 805 Road King is pretty good. And his friend. I can't remember his channel. I'm trying to think of what other channels I watch. What's you guys' opinion of Sargon of Akkad? Now, that's a controversial figure. One who I, I disagree with a lot, but I agree, I agree with him on a lot of things too. So it's a bit of a mix. Now that way, so better lighting, hopefully. Scholar Groom's great. Um, Lindy Beige. I love Lindy Beige. He's great. Oh, you know the thing, the, the thinkery? I think um, if it wasn't for Stargun of Akkad's um, This Week in Stupid, then yes, I would definitely think the thinkery was funnier because it's more of a shit posting site. And I like shit posting. Um, I generally like Aiden Paladin. I think she's pretty cool, too. Cat. Praise to the chair. SV Seeker. Oh, I forgot about him. They're, they're building that boat, right? Great channel. I love them. Wasn't um, Chucky 2009, didn't he make an appearance? I, I, he visited that. I also watch Chucky 2009 sometimes, the welding channel. He's okay. He's a bit more clickbaity, though. A little more um, forgettable, unfortunately. Anime? Um, well, I love Planet Test. I love Ghost in the Shell. I like a lot of anime, but I usually don't have enough time to watch all the anime. I hate when bugs crawl across my glasses. Oh. There's this one person, he has kind of a big channel. He's uh, like a Scottish blacksmith or something like that. He has a steampunk look. I can't remember. Or maybe it was Irish or something like that. But some. He has an accent of some sort. I didn't watch enough of his stuff. I kind of skipped through and just focused on the video itself. But I think he had like an accent. Okay, everyone has an accent. People say I have 
well, people here say I have an accent. People everywhere else say I have an accent. So I've always been asking, like, well, what kind of accent do I have? And people are like, I don't know. I do like 80s anime. What's the most elaborate thing you ever made in Minecraft? An underground train station. It was, uh, I believe, 50 blocks by 600 blocks. And the tunnel itself was like 20 by 30 blocks. It went underneath the ocean, had a glass lining. But it was on a server that a friend had, and that was turned off. And I forgot to take any screenshots of the damn thing. Michael Cthulhu, okay. That might be it. AF. Well, technically I have, like when I was a little kid. I think we lived in Switzerland for a couple months. And that was very nice. But my list of countries I want to go to are Switzerland, Japan, Poland. Poland sounds really cool. I would really love to go to the UK and see one of their uh, steam shows. That would be really great. And uh, Australia. I'd love to visit there. But the only place I'd actually want to live in would be either Poland, Switzerland, or Japan. Now, in the United States, I could definitely see for, li for living in Canada. That would be pretty cool. Sorry, Alaska. And then I also would like to live in, like, the Yukon. I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I was saying that wrong. I have way too many Minecraft worlds, that's for sure. Okay, so we have this. Probably the best way. Why Poland? Because Poland is... Well, also the Ukraine. I also want to visit... Maybe live, uh, visit the Ukraine. Or not the Ukraine. Uh, visit Ukraine, because... Well, Poland and Ukraine are very inexpensive, but they're also really rich in history and just really nice places. And particularly, I would never want to live in, in the UK or Germany or anything, because a lot of the countries that are in the EU... Well, the EU seems kind of like a um, crazy regime, almost. And... Like, I know if I was, if I ever lived in the UK, I'd probably say something and then get put behind bars or uh, deported or whatever. Exported. Um, cause, like, they're just really crazy about the PC culture and shit. I could never, re I could probably never re visit the Middle East. There's a lot of those. I like to kill transgender people. my plane to raise up the laptop because otherwise I run the risk of just showing the keyboard if I go down too low. Exported.
Okay, so catching up on comments and Sheep Eve said, uh, I'm not going to com complain about Sweden. There's a lot to complain about Sweden. We'd be here all day if we're going to complain about Sweden. Julian Illette, he's okay. I I don't know. I'm not too fan, too much of a fan of him. 